this whole rich Twitch streamer thing, right, happening with this guy called um, Hassan B. I suppose his name, or Hassan Pike, I guess he's related to or kind of associated with the guys over at um, Young Turks. I think whoever runs it is his uncle or dad or whatever. I don't really know. But regardless, right, so if you're not familiar, this Hassan Pike dude who I'm going to put on screen, the guy there on the right with the glasses, um, he was re recently revealed. I don't know why in America it's like this, but I guess because you have to... I guess it's because of different states and stuff. I don't know how exactly it works or why when you buy a house in America and you're somebody of notoriety, people automatically find out where you bought it. I guess because you have to put your name against it. I don't know. It's just odd. Everyone always finds out what people's house looks like in America. They know what everyone's house looks like. They know your address. Of course, some of them, most of them won't be able to get there because most people live in the Hidden Hills, which are sort of like basically in the Hidden Hills. There's a gate you have to go through in order to kind of even get up the hill. So, you know, 24 hour security and all that malarkey. So it prevents, you know, strangers from just rocking up and taking pictures outside Brad Pitt's home. But still, for some odd reason, whatever, has unpacked a bought a house in LA for like 2.75 million or next to 3 million. And the internet found out about it. And of course, him being a ardent socialist, it just seemed insane that somebody that, you know, continually wears eat the rich shirts would be happily happy to spend 2.7 mil on a house, right? No one's saying you should live in squalor. No one's saying that. But if you're going to live the life, live the life in it. Like that's where you kind of have to give that girl, what's her name, man? that Scandinavian little white girl that goes around looking like she hasn't eaten in days, right? She's always taking flipping trains everywhere, right? She doesn't take a plane. She doesn't want to increase her carbon footprint. You know, some of it might be virtue signaling. Some of it might be posturing, but still she backs her talk. I mean, she walks the walk. She's about the environment and she tries her best um, within her means to make sure that she's not, you know, um, damaging um, the environment or, you know, going against her moral standpoint or her ethics of worldviews, her ideals, whatever it may be. It's not much, but you try, right? You try to do something. So it's just interesting, just for me again. I don't know these people too tough, but it's just an interesting kind of um it's just an interesting uh it must be an interesting sort of place to be in when you have this real strong position that kind of everyone knows you for and then you do something that kind of in theory goes against everything that you actually stand for right because obviously again no one's saying you should live in squalor but spending 2.75 whatever a million it is to live in la to live in the hidden hills right it sounds pretty insane yeah, it doesn't sound like something a socialist would do um and also to do it unironically to do it without you know kind of acknowledging your um you know just acknowledging your hypocrisy that's the one thing yeah that's what i was thinking just in, the lack of acknowledgement of hypocrisy is what really drives me insane i don't really understand these people because i just i get just doing stuff and just not giving a fuck right because i think that's more admirable just kind of buying you know a gold-plated bugatti right um an ap watch that only one person one other person has and that person's dead you know those kind of stuff like yeah do that enjoy yourself i think that's far more admirable but when you try and appease people and pretend like you're not as wealthy as you are try and come across as the every man and then as soon as you have to make like big fine big kind of like um, life decisions things that other people probably don't can't afford to just you know drop a couple of grand or a couple of mil on to kind of do whatever they do whether it's kind of healthcare, whether it's all oh, my car's broken down i have to get a replacement you know little things that you get an indication of where somebody is like on the socioeconomic level right like raw how did you you know what i mean so soon you know you needed a break and then suddenly you're seeing pictures of this guy out there in car food or something right it's just madness so that's why i just think it would be nice to see these people i think the other lady is that boomer girl one yeah that nicole nicolou whatever right um is it bernie bernie girl boom i don't know whatever that girl is right all the all the little um twitter kids were getting um were kind of wanking profusely over and then they started hating her because she bought like a flipping bmw but that aside it would be nice to see some of these people just kind of let their nuts hang and just say hey yes i know i'm an ardent socialist but i'm also a raging hypocrite and we all are so yes i'm going to try and fight for the poor quote unquote and i want to tax the rich cool or eat the rich yeah and i've got this flipping anarchist tattoo on my back or on my or a chain or, you know the, the a hanging off a pendant somewhere but i sometimes do things that go against everything i stand for because humans do that all the time right we are all hypocritical in our own walks of life and i guess these guys aren't that different but still it's it's a lol 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 incident so this is an article courtesy of dextero it says is that how you said it right dex dexero 
Dexerto. Oh no, Dexerto. It says here, um, headline says, when Twitch streamers become rich, why are fans outraged? It says, has Ampika bought a home worth 3 million in Hollywood Hills? So in West Hollywood, not Hollywood Hills, I'll take it back. The Twitch streaming superstar has accumulated a massive following on the platform and this pays handsomely. But for some reason, outrage has ensued and it's not the first time fans of Aaron Goodbye the stream is spending money. Early in 2021, 100 Thieves member Nikolai faced the, um, the brunt of the internet when she purchased a similarly priced apartment. Both Hassan and Nikolai have been criticised and shamed for their buying their homes and money they earned making content streaming. I don't have a again i don't think anyone should have a problem with these people making money online i think the great thing about oops all these police officers the great thing about um streaming online and the great thing about the internet is that by and large if people like your content and like what you do they will support you whether it's through donations tipping or sobbing um going linking to your patreon buying your merch right and usually for the most part most of these people aren't being you know they're not they don't have a gun placed aside of their head and being forced into watching your content they're doing it because they like what you do regardless of what other people think they like what you do cool you play to your crowd no problem they're happy to see you get wealthy because they're you know monetarily supporting you in any way which they can it's just the political and social stances that they take or you know kind of let's say the activism things that they do um and then they their kind of monetary decisions or monetary purchases kind of go against everything they stand for on paper again no one's saying she lives in squalor but there is something funny about somebody that was talking about, you know, that was propping up Bernie and his brand of socialism. And then suddenly you buy a $2 million apartment in the heart of New York, I think, or wherever it is. And the same goes for Hassan Piker. Just, it's just hilarious to me. And I, and I just don't know why they don't, they don't see the hilarity of it and can't just poke fun at themselves and be like, you know what? Like I said, I'm hypocritical. And just move on. It's all good. You know, she kind of turned off her comments, got angry, turned off the likes and shit, was threatening to take it down. It's just like, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Like just, I don't know. It is what it is. Who, no one's going to take the house off you anyway. It's just like, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. It continues. It says here, there is a political angle, of course. Both streamers are espouse socialist views in the past, and so some argue that their hypocrisy is now being rich. But that's not the whole story. After all, Hassan's been far from one of the most watched streamers for almost two years. He's been wealthy for that entire time, so why the hate now? Really, the issue is the nature of the parasocial relationship of when fans suddenly realize that their streamers are not the guy next door that they thought they are. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think usually streamers lose their audiences when people realize that the persona that they have on stream doesn't actually match with how they actually are in real life, like for better or worse. It's less so about the fact that they get rich. I don't think so. I think, you know, weirdly enough, your fans are kind of like, they're sort of like pay pigs in the kind of DSP sense of the word. They want to see you ascertain wealth. They want to see you become more successful. They, they're they happy when you get more subs. You know what I mean? They, they're, they're looking to boost you up. They want to tell your friends about you. They just don't like it when streamers, you know, turn into dicks, right? Ethan Klein being a good one. Hey, he's not a streamer, but he's a content creator. He's a good one where people thought the persona that they got in all those you know original h3h production videos was completely different to how he is you know in real life because you get to see how he's like in real life and how he thinks how he speaks via the podcast and people just were like put off obviously the ones that stayed are fans but for the most part people kind of ducked away because they're like Ugh. same with you know philly defranco the more he started inserting himself into the news and started to be irate or annoyed at stuff that he should be irate, irate about because, you know, it's his own personal stance. The moment people started to not like him as a person because they thought, you know what, we don't like this person because we we are we were in love with the persona, but the person doesn't match up with who we love. And that's okay, but I don't think it's to do with money. It continues, says the appeal streamers is often just that. Viewers feel like they can relate to a streamer either because they look like them um, share the same views or play the game uh, or play the same game as them this leads to a common problem with parasocial relationships an issue prominently raised by ludwig another streamer with millions of followers who blew up from humble beginnings in an alvaro video ludwig, ludwig made it clear and said i'm not your friend the message that went a oh, while wow. is is that while a viewer might spend hours um, with their favorite streamer the streamer spends absolutely no time whatsoever with the viewer Will streamers get rich? Inevitably, massive popularity on Twitch comes with a momentary gain, as it should. Some may write off the challenges of full time streamer just as playing games or living, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes that for most fans will consider. Of course, it's also a very enviable job, but it's a job nonetheless. The problem occurs when the streamer was once deemed so relatable leaves their squat apartment for a multi million dollar home. At this point, the viewer's perception of their favorite streamer challenge. Hassan's case is unique in that his content is very political, but this same theory applies to content creators. 
Avengers, another example. In this case, he immediately attracted more haters than ever after moving home, um, fe featuring on a late night talk show and appearing in NFL commercials. Uh, Nick, uh, look at him. He's he, he's now so he's now associating bright. Look at this is a tweet from Hassan. He's saying bright bar and left and left Twitter weirdos are shaking their hands in agreement with socialism is when you'd have no house. It's like poor interpretation of the criticism. No one's saying you shouldn't have a home, mate. You know what I mean, people just think it's funny that you wear a eat the rich shirt or tax the rich shirt, and you are essentially buying a three million dollar home in West Hollywood. It's just insane is what well, basically a mansion right it's just really funny um the the hypocrisy of it is dripping it's you know um and it continues here said Nikolai was but was a brunt of the joke almost a month after revealing a new pad there was a collective notion of surprise as though people were blissfully unaware that being popular stream would lead to increased earnings with so many ways of making money as a content streamer um sponsorship and revenue subscription merch and exclusive content the days of relatable bedroom streamer on twitch are becoming a thing of the past one streamer who is perhaps acutely aware of this is felix uh, by far the most watched individual streamer on twitch felix keeps his setup very low key his background is very uncluttered his room is small and he rarely if ever shows off any of his purges despite this his viewers are more than aware of how much uh, um, a person's popularity will be bringing in each month but um, Felix is careful not to make a focal point of his content his famous six console rank exemplifies this yeah true he's like the opposite of like DSP in it right this Felix guy right he, he doesn't make money the, the main kind of theme of his streams uh, he purposely tries to avoid showing any kind of you know even indicating where he's at financially and just streams even though he's you know probably earning let's say a hundred grand a month or something stupid like that whereas phil our friend dsp is out here begging for tips every day what an insane world but yeah i don't know move on for that one it's boring but yeah you know what i mean I, I think these guys just need to embrace the hill in them i think they all want to be loved and adored and then unfortunately when you're filthy rich it's very difficult to be loved and adored look at joe rogan he doesn't really do anything to anybody he's not really in a position to put anything he's not really in a position to like change anything you know in government in a, anyone's everyday life but still people get absolutely deranged at some of the things that he says and get really angry because he's essentially really wealthy in it that's basically it once you get ascertained a lot of wealth and you have the ear a lot of people people get really worried that you might i don't know become the next Mussolini or something it's just a bizarre world we live in but what can you do about that